Koala Man is a new Hulu animated series about a man who dresses up as a koala. Let's see if this series is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Hulu. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Koala Man follows middle-aged dad Kevin and his not-so-secret identity whose only superpower is burning passion for following rules and snuffing out petty crime in the town of Dapto. Koala Man comes from Aussie creator animator Michael Cusack. He also voices Koala Man and is executive produced by Solar Opposites and Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland. I love the adult animated series that Hulu does. I love Solar Opposite, so I was really looking forward to Koala Man. We have a lot of great guest voices, including Hugh Jackman, Jermaine Clement, and Hugo Weaving within the series. Essentially just about a middle-aged dad who wants to stop crime in Dapto, and he dresses up like a koala and fights crime. But there's like a heart to it. We see this passion for this dad. He will, he'll stop at nothing to solve crime. And it's really heartwarming and endearing to watch this father. He's also trying to navigate being a father to his two young children. And keeping up with his marriage as well. Because he's really focused on being Koala Man. And that adds for some hilarious moments in here. Some of the crimes that he takes on. And some of the citizens of Dapto really don't take him seriously. But he believes in himself and that makes for some heartwarming moments and also makes for some hilarious moments as well. Now, this is supposed to be like a superhero show, but he doesn't have any powers, but it adds for some, but there is some cliche superhero moments in here. We have a villain that's kind of being teased throughout the series and it's revealed at the end. It's hilarious, it's ridiculous, but it's very cliche as well. That's the point of it all. It's kind of poking fun at superhero movies and shows as well, but I love the end and like this villain that's teased throughout and the build up for it there's some crazy unpredictable moments in here we have kangaroos that beat up kevin and steal his car we have emus that are shooting people there's a lot of wild things that happen in here the first few episodes are really tame for what the series is and it just increasingly gets bizarre throughout. I, the first couple episodes, I thought, okay, this is this is pretty calm about a man who wants to be a koala man, and uh, he has a family, and he does these little odd jobs around Dapto, and Hugh Jackman's in here. But then it just gets weirder and weirder, and I love that. That's what I love about some of the shows that Hulu does, these adult animated series, is that they just kind of get crazier and crazier, and that's Koala Man from the kangaroos to these emus to this villain to this alien species. There's a lot of weird things that happen and it puts Kevin in a predicament that he has to protect his family but also be a koala man and protect Dapto as well. The animation in here is pretty good. There's a wide variety of odd looking characters we have just your kind of classic animation that feels almost like rick and morty and solar opposites it looks great but then you have these two characters inside dapto that look completely different from the other characters in terms of the style of animation it's really bizarre looking at times the animation does different things and it's pretty funny when it stands out the voice acting in here is pretty good as well hugh jackman is a guest voice but he does appear a lot in here i love Love his character and the voice acting within here. Michael Cusack, the creator and the animator for this show, also voices Koala Man, and I love his determination and his curiosity about a lot of things. It really adds a lot of depth to this character and understanding where he's coming from and what he wants to do to protect his family and Dapto. I laughed quite often in here. The jokes really do work. At times, they do get very vulgar. At times, they are pretty silly, but it just increasingly gets funnier and funnier with each episode and those bizarre storylines that are coming out it just adds for a lot of humor and those endearing moments as we see koala man navigating his life and being koala man as well the overall series i found to be lighthearted, really funny it's got those cliche moments but it's very self-aware in what it wants to do 
Koala Man is a very likable character. I like that it also focused on his children. It had storylines for them. They felt like important characters within the series, and it felt like a good family unit and exploring moments within them. Realistic storylines as he's trying to be a father, but also wants to be this hero as well. So definitely check out Koala Man. If you like Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites, I think you will enjoy this. Justin Roiland is only the executive producer in here, but it definitely feels like a show similar to Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites. So check out Koala Man on Hulu. It's worth your time if you are into these Hulu adult animated series or if you liked Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites. So before I give you my score for Koala Man on Hulu, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Koala Man a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for Koala Man on Hulu. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.